So little Miss Piggy is finally awake. I resent that prank, really. So the first thing Gina does every day is meticulously run down to the kitchen to scarf down her breakfast, sometimes as early as 5.30 or 6 a.m. Is that true, Gina? Somewhat true, I would Aren't say. You guilty? Okay. So, so for breakfast, what have we been having lately? I've been having oatmeal. Which well, that was just the last two days, right? Last two days I've been having oatmeal. What were we having before that? Think. Like some bananas, right? Yep, some bananas. And then before that we had usually egg whites. Yep. Okay, so what did you want to have today? The oatmeal again? Yeah, I guess I'll have the oatmeal again. So, uh, yep. Let me get that. So this is an organic apple cinnamon oatmeal. Uh -huh. Open. Gina, shh. My hands are still sleeping. Open. Shh. Shh. Take, take two. Take two or three packets. Oh. Ooh. Shh. Oh. This is what the oatmeal. Oh, you take the so, so these are only 150 calories per packet. And, you know, a lot of the fiber, a lot of this doesn't really get digested that well. So, usually go for two or three packets. Uh, this reminds me of what I used to have as a kid. And, you know, she hasn't usually been having this, but I saw it in the store. I was like, oh, this looks pretty cool. This looks very nostalgic, so I'll get that for her. She'll probably like it. And, hey, you know, a lot of you guys might say that, you know, stuff like oats, cane sugar, dehydrated apples, natural flavor. You know, it's organic. It's not the end of the world. It's free of most negative chemicals, and it's tasty, it's approachable, feeds your gut bacteria, gives you some energy in the morning, and, and it's really enjoyable, and she looks forward to it. And, and what we can do later in the day is, you know, focus more on the protein in the meal, as this is heavily carbohydrate-based. Gina, I just told you to be quiet, because you're screaming and banging stuff, and mom and dad are sleeping, and they're going to blame me, as usual, because they blame me for everything. Okay, well, now, now it's you, little demon girl. So, Gina, we don't use the microwave, okay? We don't use the microwave. And you haven't been listening to me, have you? You've been oh. using the microwave because you're bad. So, what we have to do is get a pot mm. and boil some water, which only takes a minute or two. So, we have some reverse osmosis water here. If you want to get really crazy with it, you can get some bottled water which is what I normally do. And I think you need about half to three quarters of a cup of water per packet of oatmeal. So it's only gonna take two or three minutes for this to boil. So we'll be back. She's got the oatmeal in the bowl and you can really smell that cinnamon and dehydrated apple, very nostalgic. So we'll come back down in a few minutes, Gina, and we'll pour the boiling water over it, okay? Okay. So why don't you tell everyone how you had a little hissy fit yesterday when you couldn't have your oatmeal? Uh, you don't I, remember that. I do remember that, but I'm trying to move forward. Good idea. And so today, I'm having my delicious oatmeal. Um, Did you have oatmeal yesterday, Gina? Or you just had a banana? No, I just had a banana yesterday. Well, you're not a good liar, because Dad told me he gave you oatmeal. Uh. Oh, I did have a tiny bit. I had like one packet of it. Oh, so you did have oatmeal. You guys see what I'm dealing with here? Like, no one tells me the truth. Like, how can you help someone with their diet if they lie to your face like that? The water's pretty much boiling. All we need to do is pour over the oatmeal. This has to sit for about two minutes to hydrate. So you want to let this hang out. My sister probably wants to take a bite immediately. And you don't really have to let it wait, but... Mmm! Says it's good before she even tastes it. It's good. Okay, Gina, it kinda, so... It kind of tastes like the Quaker Oats brand. Yeah, oatmeal. Very, very similar ingredients. Tastes very similar to it. So if you want to have a more complete breakfast, you could throw in a protein source, throw in some egg whites. What I actually should have done is I should have put in some uh, whey protein, which we have back here. And we have whey protein right now on Frankie's Hearing Age Meat available. It's uh, five pounds of grass-fed whey for about $55, which is the most affordable price online. So uh, one thing I should have done and honestly would have done today is put a scoop of whey protein in the oatmeal. Honestly, it probably makes it taste better. And you get an amazing amount of B oh, vitamins and minerals. 
You know what? Let's put let's put the scoop of protein in there to cool it off too. So this is the whey protein I bought from Whole Foods that was like twenty two dollars, which is completely ridiculous. Ours is literally you know five times the amount for only double the price. Can you also put that on protein shakes too? Like make yeah. a protein shake with that. So the the grass fed whey has like a yellow tint to it. So you want me to mix it for you? So in that snack video we did the other week, you know, I talked about how whey protein is uh, probably one of the most more nutritious hot water foods. For this. Whey protein, stevia, natural flavor, a couple additives. What you might want to actually do is just take some vanilla powder and some honey and use that as a natural flavor with the plain whey protein instead. That's going to be a higher quality product. It tastes really I like good. Like a better with or without the wet engine. You know? It tastes good either way. So this is something that I really like because it's no prep, basically no prep. You know, if you had some hot water on some type of device in your house, take the packet of oatmeal, pour the hot water on it, mix some whey protein in, you're good to go. That's why I also like the bananas and also like raw yogurt from a local farm with honey in it is also great. Just wake up, eat something, no prep, no cooking, good to go. Uh, so we'll see you for lunch, right, Gina? All right, bye, you two people. Well, not bye. Yeah, we're gonna see them soon. See you guys soon. <clears throat> so you're gonna remember to tell me when you eat lunch, Gina, not just scarf down half a pound of roast beef, right? You got it, Frank. Doesn't sound too confident. What's for lunch, Gina? Yeah, uh, I'm having. <laughs> Turkey breast, Gina. Right? Turkey breast. To me, it tastes like chicken. So, I was being a little lazy. Usually I'll buy like organic meat from wherever the farm and I'll make some type of cold cut myself. Uh, but I was really stressed for time this week and didn't feel like making something and sucking it up. Usually, you guys saw in the last day of eating video with her, we made the organic grilled Greek chicken. The turkey's a bit leaner, so if it's something you're having, you know, once in a while, it's not that big of a deal. But you want to go organic most of the time and sometimes she has some like canned peppers with it sometimes we have some cheese oh, i feel like most people and kids like string cheese more than regular raw cheese but of course you now you could just get i guess you could see some... my i guess you could see my jokes are cheesy <laughs> we haven't made any jokes today yet you know uh, okay. well, yeah just get a regular high quality raw cheese chice it up Slice it up like cheese sticks and then give that to your kids. So the lunch is mostly protein based and you know we saw she had mm. the oatmeal with the whey protein for breakfast. So she's getting some carbs, some energy, and now she's just sticking to protein because she hasn't really exercised or done anything yet today. But later for dinner, I, I think we're going to do pasta. Uh, ideally you would keep the dinner protein based as well, uh, but it's not that big of a deal. Mm. Depends on the time of the year. You know, a few months out of the year, you probably want to focus more on a, a really, really high protein based and fat based dinner. And then parts of the year, you could do more carbohydrate based. Mm -hmm. Right, Gina? Mm -hmm. the turkey with the cheese. So good. So she's just going to have that and we'll see her for dinner. So for dinner, my sister is having pasta that I showed you guys recently. Today, it's organic einkorn pasta. I think last time we just had a regular organic pasta and this is made from hard red winter wheat which has 42 chromosomes that pasta has 14 chromosomes in the hybridization of the wheat so this is basically the the original form of wheat there is it's slightly higher in nutrients but but the most important thing is that it tastes a lot better and all i did was boil this in salted water we put the organic pasta sauce on it so i don't have to make anything myself and then just uh, two tablespoons of the Finlandia butter in the pasta just to add a little bit of fat. So it's 5.30 right now. My sister usually operates on like a 9 a.m. breakfast, 12 p.m. lunch, 5.30 p.m. dinner. So eat every meal as early as possible. This is why Jeannie doesn't have work. She carries 20 pounds of books around all day. She just has to switch arms. Usually she's so enthusiastic to eat that she... Starts eating it as soon as she grabs it off the counter, and then she scarfs it down within two minutes. So Gina, what do you think of the pasta? It's so delicious. Better than eating meat all day? Yes. So the diet's pretty basic, and, and we've shown you guys a lot of this stuff before. I've gone over the, the nutrition in the video where I showed you guys how I prepped all the food. Uh, Gina, did you want to tell a lot of the YouTube people anything? 
my brothers think I'm looking for a girlfriend. So all you girls out there, please. Gina, what are you, what are you my drink, brother. What are you drinking, Gina? It's just I think it's just the crystal light lemonade. So Hello. it's not the best. It's a, it's a bunch of chemicals, but it gets her to drink some water. So the food is always my brother's food is always delicious. Gina, don't you say it's good before you even taste it, though? Mm-hmm. I had to go somewhere, so I got home really late, about 1.30 in the morning right now. So I didn't get to film my sister's snack, but I'm guessing she had maybe some beef jerky, some Parmesan crisps. Those look unaltered, so it's very possible that my parents, you know, might have given her some, like, organic cookies. Who knows what they gave her, but generally speaking, something organic, something higher quality. Uh, if I can avoid my parents' uh, lack of supervision. So thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully you enjoyed my sister's day of eating. If you have any questions about the nutrients, what I'm giving her, you know, you can check out my other videos or leave me a comment down below. We're going to do a live stream later on the channel Frank Tufano with the number two, so be sure to join us.